This is the biogas generator. We got two stages now. First one is where the fresh crap is put in. It's put into that nozzle. It goes into the digester here. And then it builds methane. Goes up to that to that uh, valve right there. It goes into this filter here. And then goes into this bubbler. As you can see right there, it's creating methane. And it bubbles through the water. Further filtering the hydrogen sulfide, carbon dioxide, and what's the other one? Water vapor. There you go. And other chemical stuffs in the biogas. Then it goes into this green hose, going into this storage tank, which is a floater type. When methane builds up, this one floats up, as you can see. The the barrel beneath it is just a water tank. It's just a tank full of water and this is actually where the methane is stored and the weight of the the barrel actually keeps it pressurized and then it goes into that green hose into the house right there where it's connect where it's connected to a lamp and a a stove Right now, there's only a temporary storage. It's not that big right now, but we're planning to make a bigger one. So that thing will just keep creating methane. As you can see, it just keeps going. So the bubbles are the methane, and it goes up and stores it to that floater. Now this second one also creates methane. What happens is that if you close the valve over there, after, for example, after 20 days, you close that valve and pressure builds up in this generator and it it uh, pushes the digested slurry into this second stage by the digester as you can see right there we haven't painted it but we haven't painted it yet but this one has 10% uh, capacity 10% uh, more capacity to create methane so we're storing it and then it'll create methane also goes out to that valve going into that tea, pi uh, tea pipe there where it also produces methane. Now this one, we put a drainage uh, valve there where after 20 days we can take out some of the slurry and use it as fertilizer. It's an organic uh, fertilizer so it's really good and it's richer than you know undigested crap. And so here is here it is. Let me just get a bigger picture of how it looks like and as you can see the bubbler it's still creating methane which is great usually a biodigester is uh, really really efficient when it's hot right now it's getting cooler so it's kind of slow right now but as long as it's creating methane we're good to go All right, later on I'll show you the how the lamp works but because it's still too bright out, we can't really show you a lot. I'll try it later. Right. Okay, so there are there's the biodigester. As you can see, we ran the hose up into the house. We're gonna fix that. I know it looks ghetto right now, but we're gonna fix that later on once we got it. We got it. We get it going. Okay. So we're trying to go in can see well it's dark right now so I guess it's perfect to run but basically we got the hose coming up to here that's also connected to the stove in there but right now we're going to try the the lamp that we make here okay so now we're gonna try to light it up so we'll see how it goes see if it produces enough light it's just one right now but Gonna turn the nozzle on and light it up. Sorry, there it is. There it is. Nope, not yet. Does it light up? Oh, it's not. Doesn't seem to be lighting up. There it is. So there it is. It's going. Oh. Hmm, there doesn't seem to be enough pressure from the methane. But 
That's basically how the methane lamp lights up. Okay, I guess it's it does light up a little bit. We'll need more pressure. Oh, okay, there you go. It's lighting up better. And there you go. That's the methane lamp. Now we have lighting. <laughs> well, it's still not that dark, but once uh, the sun sets, it should enlighten the whole place up. Oh, well, there you go.